Roll out your sleeping bag and put on your bug spray, because we're going to summer camp in Ozark, Illinois. Hi, Dad! This is one place here at Camp On The Sunk that you can come for a week and be a kid. Camp On The Sunk sits on 300 acres in the small town of Ozark, Illinois. Ozark was once famous for its apple and peach orchards, but now the locals will tell you it's Camp On The Sunk that puts this tiny town on the map. I met with Dan King, executive director of the camp, to find out what makes this place such a big deal to thousands all over America. You know, coming from the hustle and bustle of larger cities and stuff, this is really a slice of, of Americana here that you don't see too often, really a step back in time. And I'm assuming that is your goal and passion here. That is, that, that's true. Uh, most of the campers that we serve come from, uh, say 60% come from cities or more urban settings. They come in on Sunday and no Facebook, no text, no cell phones. They are completely unplugged for the week. And that's exactly how the founders of Camp on the Sock wanted it when it began 53 years ago by a Catholic parish from St. Louis. They wanted a camp where kids, whether they were Catholic or not, could have a true outdoor experience. And since 1957, Camp on the Sock has stayed true to that idea. Focus on you know what matters most, learning leadership skills, learning more about yourself, to know some friends that you're going to have for a lifetime. High five. Dan, tell me a little more about the activities here at the camp. Archery, swimming, arts and crafts. We have a very, very strong nature program as well as a horsemanship program. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Camp on the Sonk has everything from zip lining to rock climbing. Sure makes me wish I was a kid again. Woo-hoo! This has like got to be one of the coolest swimming holes I think I've ever seen. Have you went down the zip line yet? Yes, yes really it was. Fun. And went into the water. It's pretty insane, and there's this whole competition to see who can go the fastest. I'm loving it. It's like, I love the horseback riding. I loved everything. Hebra! Camp Andesonk has a long history, with over 100,000 kids coming through the camp since 1957. They're now even beginning to see second and third generation campers coming through. So Jackie, we kind of got a generational thing going on here with you first coming to the camp in 1972, and now your son Chase is here as a lifeguard. You were a lifeguard also. So he's kind of following in your steps. And what caused you to come to the camp? Uh, when I was a little girl, I lived in the south side of Chicago, and it was kind of a concrete playground there. And they came to our school, said we should, you know, we have this camp down in southern Illinois. But the people that I made friends with back 40 years ago, I'm still friends with those people. I talk to my grandma every single Christmas that we have. The first thing we do is talk about camp, about marathon, and we talked about skit and horseback riding and all these things that she knew about when you know when she was taking my mom to camp and all of her siblings. Chase, there's over 50 years of tradition here too. And, and uh, does it give you some sense of pride that you're following in Connie and your mom's steps? Yes, very much so. It's just a cool piece of history to see like what my mom went through as a teenager and what I'm basically going through now. And it just makes me even closer to my mom. One thing Camp On the Sock prides itself on is its horsemanship program. Compared to other camps, it's one of the best in the country. Well, before the kids go out on the trail ride, you teach them about riding. What all does that entail? A lot of them have never ridden a horse before in their entire lives, so we show them how to properly get on a horse and then how to start, stop, and steer it, just all the basic stuff. Jeremy, tell me a little bit about the horse safety here at the camp. We adhere to standards of the American Camp Association and the Certified Horsemanship Association. So, and every camper gets to, to ride a horse in first week of the camp. Yeah, that is the goal that we get all of our campers on a horse during their time here. So now, I understand that you're expecting me to help you muck the stalls here in a minute. I have heard that rumored, yes. Well, <laughs> let's go do it. All right. Well, after cleaning all 73 stalls, I convinced the staff to let me take a horse out for a ride. I will say, though, their horsemanship program is top-notch. Another top-notch program at Camp On The Sock is their CIT program, or Counselors in Training. Seems like no one wants to leave this place for long. Can I have the first week CITs come on up? No. I'll stay here until I'm a counselor, probably work at this station. And we came when I was 11, and we came for the next five years as campers, and then we came back as CITs, got to learn how to be staff, and figured if we get to stay here for 10 weeks out of the summer, it would be the best summer of our lives. Been doing it for the past four years. Three fingers, one above, two below. Lauren, I gotta ask you, you can't be doing this for the money. I, I know that you're probably underpaid for all that you do here. 
you, you got to be wanting to help and impact these kids' lives. Tell me about that. The experiences that I had as a camper completely changed my life. So part of it is giving back to the camp just because of what I got out of it. You can really see the transformation from the beginning of a week with the kid to the end of the week because I think a lot of the staff went through that same transformation. They came to camp and they were given the opportunity to really show who they really are. The staff members really like to give that back to the kids. So what's the one thing would you say that brings you back to the camp every year? Uh, they call it coming home and there is a sense of peace, serenity, and the friends that you make here are friends that you have for life. The stage is set for an epic battle between the units. Hold up, wait a minute, put a little boom in it. A battle of skill, strength, and endurance. It happens every Friday, and it's known as Marathon. I think you can almost see a physical difference too. They walk taller when they leave camp. They have this self-assured quality about them. Every single week there's parents that come to me that seek me out that want to talk about this, this different, something's different about their child. They just look different. I think of it as a, a, a bit of like self-realization. What I really appreciate about Camp on the Sock is that it's kept to its traditional and spiritual roots all these years. It's a wonderful place where kids can be themselves, make lifelong friends, and learn new skills. A place where they can unplug their cell phones and gaming systems and really experience God's beautiful creation. And to me, that's a big deal.